Hello, friends. Welcome to the ANN podcast. This is Candy here, speaking to you about nutrition and health, addressing the root cause of chronic diseases through lifestyle medicine. Creamy and mouth-watering tasty, avocado is rich in variety of nutrients, including vitamin C, E, K, B6, B2, B3, folate, magnesium, potassium, beta-carotene, lutein, pentotenic acid, and fiber. Although most of the calories from avocados come from fat, this fat is health beneficial, aiding in slower carbohydrates breakdown, which in turn helps with blood sugar stability. Because avocado contains plant steroid, specifically beta cystosterol, it can help in maintaining healthy level of blood cholesterol in the body. While it is high in fat, it is also high in fiber, which helps with healthy digestions, lowering the risk of colon cancer and preventing constipation. Adequate amount of fiber from avocado certainly promote regular bowel movements, which is very important in excreting toxins from the environment we are exposed to and the food we are eating. Avocado is great for both healthy desserts and savory dishes. Avocado is also an excellent source of folate. Just one half of a raw avocado, it contains 82 micrograms of folate, which is about 21% of the amount we need for the entire day. Pregnant mothers will benefit from eating avocados regularly due to the nutrient folate. Adequate amount of folate during pregnancy have been shown to lower the risk of birth defects. For those who are at risk of depression or suffer from depression, folate in avocados can prevent the increased buildup of homocysteine, a pro-inflammatory component um, which impairs the circulatory system in preventing good nutrients from entering into the brains. In fact, too much homocysteine can counteract the production of serotonin, dopamine, and norepinephrine, all of which are important for mood, sleep, and appetite regulations. Surprisingly, like coconut, another plant high in fat, avocado also contains antimicrobial properties. So while it provides good nutrients promoting good cellular health, it can also get rid of the bacteria or viral or fungal infections that can cause health problems. So go ahead and enjoy your avocado while it is in season. And uh, keep in mind that because it is also high fat nutrients, you want to eat your avocado with a lot of uh, high fibrous food, whereas um, whether it is beans or vegetables or whole grains, put in your salad, uh, put it in your savory dishes and enjoy it in your salad dressings as well. And you can also make a lot of healthy desserts from avocado as well uh, by blending it with some nuts and seeds and some dates. Uh, you can make an easy avocado ice cream or some other baked goods. So as long as you're enjoying avocados with some other whole food plant-based sources, it is safe to eat them on a regular basis. So here's a quick avocado ice cream recipes that is healthy and you can enjoy it with your family. So you use about two cups, which is about 16 ounce of coconut milk and refrigerated that overnight and then get rid of the watery content once you refrigerate that and to save the fat content from the coconut milk. Then you blend that fat content from the coconut milk with two ripe avocados, half that is pitted and peeled and one ripe banana cut and frozen ahead of time. And then you blend that with about three to four dates that has been pitted and about two tablespoons of lemon juice and four to five large mint leaves. Blend all of that together and make it a creamy texture and you can add in some uh, pistachios if you like and freeze that in your freezer and enjoy it at any time. You can freeze this and you can last up to about two weeks in your freezer. And another quick avocado dressings that you can use in your salad would be using one avocado, one clove of garlic that is peeled, and of course your avocado has to be pitted and peeled as well, and about one fourth cup of chopped cilantro, and a tablespoon of either fresh lemon or lime juice, 
one fourth teaspoons of sea salt and blend that in the blender until it's creamy. And you can certainly add in more herbs like basil and parsley and oregano if you liked. And of course, just enjoy avocado as is in its raw form. Top it with your soup, your greens, or your salad at any time. So enjoy your avocados. Thank you for listening to our show today. We welcome you to join us again next week. And if you like the show, hit the subscribe button. You will be informed in our upcoming episode. And we'd love to have you join us again. Have a wonderful day.